Hello everybody, this is Thor Young with Bear Bull Traders, and I would like to take a quick moment to talk to you a little bit about volume by price, and most specifically, point of control. So we've talked about volume by price before, but something we haven't really talked about is the point of control. Point of control is actually the specific price within a range where the most shares have been exchanged at a particular price on the volume by price. So I want you to look here at my Zoom chart here, and I actually have a trade a trade going in this Zoom uh, right now. You can see I actually only have 32 shares left, um, but that's okay because I've already made a nice uh, about $160 on this trade so far. So um, I did do a nice partial up here above 119. I'm looking to go in here, and you can see where I got long here. Now, why did I go long here when this pattern otherwise was looking quite shortable? So there were a couple of in instant uh, indicators here that we had going on that were really important to take uh, pay attention to. One, the level two actually looked stronger to the top side. So we had someone in our chat room asking me when I took this trade, if I should be taking this, if they should go long or short and what they thought. And when I first looked at it, I told them, you know, I don't think I can take this trade because the trade isn't giving me a clear indication of which way to go. Um, the L2 looked long, but the pattern looked short. So I really had to kind of take a look at it and see what's going on. Now, the market's been um, kind of consolidating here and actually sold off a little bit while we were pushing off. So Zoom's definitely kind of got its own thing going. Even when the market was rallying, Zoom was coming down. So I'm not really thinking Zoom is really that, um, you know, that independently um, off by itself. Um, but it looks like it's kind of doing its own thing today. So it's, you know, we definitely know it has its own catalyst. It's got some security issues or that it has had it's working to fix. And it certainly caused quite a sell off in the price of the stock. So Zoom, after it bounced off of VWAP, came back to 117. And 117 is a level that I have marked off of my daily. Um, so I was really interested to see what it was going to do here. And then something else really jumped up and caught my eye, which is this. Notice my light gray. Uh, bar here. This is the point of control in this largest by volume by price candle. So let me show you what that looks like to configure. If you go to your study config and go to volume by price, you can see here to display your down volume, you check that, and then you see this area here for point of control. Right now I'm just showing the point of control. Um, I'm not reducing volume area or anything like that. So and you'll see that that's this gray line here. But what that helps me do is it helps me dial in on where the most volume is happening per price. And then one thing I found interesting once I was in a little bit tighter is that we came in here and we were really consolidating at this high volume area. So I decided since I was consolidating above a key level and above VWAP, even though we were doing a little bit of a down on the top side of things, which made it look weaker to the eye with a strong level two, um, and this pattern here, I decided to go long. My loss on this long was going to be the loss of um, this area right here at 117.10. So you can see the bottom of this consolidation range was right here. We had had a wick down to 117, but I decided I'd keep it a little tighter than that. But if you're trying to play it looser, um, you probably could have let 117 be your stop. I went ahead and went long here as it was coming up to the top and then just held. And sure enough, look at how it held that point of control, right? Held it, tested it a couple times, and then we were off. Great partials all the way up. So I only took a couple hundred shares here only 200 shares which only exposed me to you know probably around a l less than a hundred dollars risk maybe I would say probably closer to about 50 or 60 dollars worth of risk so for 50 dollars risk I'm already up 158 dollars so we've got a nice three to one here going we still got 35 dollars unrealized and right now I'm just waiting to see what's going to happen if we start to break up here above 118 my goal on this one is actually probably to do an add and, and extend. If we come down here and lose this 117 or this 118 area, I'll probably go ahead and take the rest off, but we'll see. I'm already up pretty well on my day. I also took a couple of decent trades on uh, CCL and otherwise. But wanted to talk to you specifically about this topic. We talk a lot about volume, and I wanted to talk a lot about the point of control because it's another really strong indicator. Because remember, when you're trading stocks, if you're you got to make sure I've heard this used before um, and I forget who um, and I'll just, you know, you're an awesome. Um, I think it was one of the other YouTube uh, 
gurus which talks about trading in a vacuum if you're not looking at this kind of stuff then that's what you're doing you're, you're trading in this little area this little time frame but you're not really looking to what's going on when stocks trade they move in and out of pockets of liquidity areas where larger portfolios are going to be able to exchange shares without necessarily having to take horrible slippage on their positions those happen in these consolidation ranges and at key levels and prices so if you can come in here and you can find that area Area where most of the consolidation has happened then what you can read this as is zoom was moving up strongly throughout the day ran out of buyer enthusiasm that was going to carry it higher so it went ahead and sold off came back down to a new liquidity area that was a much better stronger liquidity area that we've seen honored here in this area before ramped up here again we go long for the break and we're out so anyway i hope this is a little help for for everybody and explains um volume by price and the point of control a little bit more for you it is a very nice indicator to keep in so that you can get an idea of where those bigger players are sitting on the chart i hope everybody has a great day and as always keep it green thanks